We're going now to listen Jeremy, who is going to give us his analysis dealing with uh, Tsao. Uh, I don't know if I pronounce correctly. We, s we say Cao Daoism or Tsao Daoism? Because it's because of my Chinese. The C Kao. in Chinese is Tsao. Uh, Cao Daoism. Cao okay. So, so why did Cao Daoism have an army, times of war, independence, and Utopia in South Vietnam? So I think the PowerPoint is Thank okay. You. It's projecting, so I give you the floor. Yeah. Thank you, Remy. So firstly, I, I would like to uh, warmly thank uh, Bernadette for your invitation uh, and the University of Bordeaux for all the facilities. Thank you very much. Secondly, I would like to, uh, to say on behalf of Reverend Chen Quan Kain that he cannot attend today because of unfortunate, unfortunate uh, medical reasons. So I apologize, but I'm sure he will have he will follow the, uh, uh, all the discussions afterwards and he is, of course, available to, uh, if you want to be in touch with him so later on. So <clears throat> the advent of the uh, nation state in Vietnam has generally been explained by the struggle of political issues, as you know. But religious groups also constitute important forces at the heart of the Vietnamese socio-political landscape. Kaodaism, or Kaodai, established in French Indochina in 1926, is now the third largest religion in Vietnam, with growing congregation in diasporic Vietnamese communities around the world. In November 26, a huge celebration was held in Tainin uh, City, the west of Saigon, close to the Cambodian border, to officially present to the colonial authorities the great way of the third cycle of universal salvation. Kaodaism aims at the union and reconciliation of the West and the East via the reunion in its pantheon of Christianity, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism under the dominion of the Jade Emperor. It is commonly stated that by 1930, the Kaodai Way had converted more disciples in the southern colony of Cochin China so Southern Vietnam, than the Catholic Church had in over 30 years, 300 sorry, years of missionary activity. The census conducted in 1946 by the father of Chen Quang Kang, so the Kaodaist bishop Chen Quang Bin, clearly present Kaodaism as a mass movement, as you can see uh, the census and the figures today since it comprised more than 700,000 followers in the whole of Indochina. The province of Tainin had the most devotees with more than 90,000 followers. As a first mass conversion movement in French Indochina, born during a period of anti-colonial resistance, Kaoda established its own army during the Japanese occupation of Indochina between 19... 41-1945, and the ensuing war of independence, and directly governed a large part of Conchian China, and later on of South Vietnam. With its own theology, its own flag, and even its own army, Kaodaism is a case in point of what Prasenjit Duara has called the traffic between the religious and the secular. Kaodaist dignitaries could not remain indifferent, indeed, to the surrounding violence, and in this presentation, the Japanese occupation, the Indochina War, that shook both their pacific theology and their values of universal fraternity. What is their project for national unity? What are their wartime political strategies? Multiplicity is consubstantial with Kaodaism, which suffer division, schism, into different denominations and different way to, of localized clientelism, I would say. And my choice today is to focus on the most prominent Kaodai community at that time, the Holy See of Tainin. In sum, four foundational pillars of Kaodaist identity were evoked by his dignitaries from the beginning of the Indochina War onward, 
and they play a key role in the ideological and infrastructure background of the Kaodai army. First, the spirit medium relationship to the dead. And the dead, the number of the dead was, was bound to increase in time of war. One assembly, the palace of the alliance with heaven, was composed of mediums, spirit mediums, who play the role of intermediaries between men and the deities of the vast pantheon. And you can see here the uh, 12 plus 1 um, mediums. Secondly, the utopian project of a national religion. From 1926 onward, the Kaudaists of the Tainin denomination tried to realize the utopia of a religious state, Kwokdao, whose borders corresponded to those of present day Vietnam, that would have the Holy See of Tainin as its capital, located in the province and city of Tainin. The Holy See would thus be part of the Holy Land, Tandir, with the sanctuary at its center. The idea of a national religion is found in an oracular text from 1926 and is addressed exclusively to the Vietnamese people. That chosen people would be responsible for the universal propagation of Kaodaism from Tainin. Third, the structuration of a warfare bio-governance, I would say. Kaodaism established a powerful network of social control over part of the population of Cochin China and later on of South Vietnam. Kaodai arranged facilities to care for the unemployed and the displaced etc. And during war, it managed the soldiers as well as the wounded and the bodies of the deceased. In rural areas, influence was exerted through a series of social and philanthropic services managed by charity agencies established with each Kaudai's temple and denomination. This provided a way for the rural masses, largely marginalized by the colonial economy or by war, to create or strengthen clientelist ties with dignitaries, we are able to offer them physical and economical protection as well as religious merits. Fourth, it's a neo monarchist millennialism. Kaodaism eschatological thought places its followers at the beginning of a third and final cycle of the history of humanity, which prefigures the end of the world. Granting his ultimate salvation, which is universal this time, the master Kaodai is giving humanity one last chance to follow his teaching before his final judgment. In particular, the Tainin denomination combine a neo-monarchist position with a millenarian interpretation that by its very nature was prone to be activated in times of war. The period of the Japanese occupation reveals the most about the pro-independence, royalist and military position of the Holy See and its head of medium, Femme Contact. Femme Contact enrolled in the colony big elite high school in Saigon, the Chassou Loba High School, at the age of 16. Legend says that at 17 years old, he wanted to leave to Japan to join an insurgent group working against the French colonial government, namely the Way to the East movement. But the French security forces, the Sûreté, foiled the plot, and he never left Cochin China. Forced to break off his studies, he worked at various jobs between 1910 and 28, including secretary for the French Saigon Customs Service. Another, another important one of his features was his skill during Western spiritist seances where he played the role of medium. He was 36 years old. As head of medium of the Kauda hierarchy, Femme Contact imposed himself as the head of the Holy See to elect dignitaries and institutionalize the religion. Following the death of the Kaodaist Pope, Le Van Chung, in 1934, Femme Contact significantly strengthened his autonomy with regard 
to the other dignitaries. Femme Contact Nationalist Project can be accessed through his speeches and the oracles he used to receive from different spirits, but also through military and diplomatic initiative that he undertook from the beginning of the 1940s onward. At that time, the communist movement had been dismantled in Cochin, China, so between 1940 and 43, creating a space for Vietnamese religious organization. In ideological competition with Ho Chi Minh communist forces, or Viet Minh, several of speeches, fam con uh, fa several fam contact speeches, sorry, accused the communist leaders of the time of being non-religious, power hungry, and essentially responsible for the war. During the Japanese occupation, the spirit mediumship activity in Tainin and its production of oracles were symptomatically linked to Prince Kung De, returns to Vietnam. The prince was a direct descendant of Emperor Jia Long, the founder of the Nguyen dynasty, but did not belong to the ruling elite. The, progr the program of his Association for the Restoration of Vietnam aimed at national liberation, the restoration of a constitutional monarchy based on the Japanese model. For this, he was sentenced to death in absentia by French in 1913 and went into exile in Japan. Femme Contact did not hide the fact that he wanted to reinstate Kung De to national and political power. In a letter to the French overseas minister Marius Moutet, Femme Contact argued that, I quote, the establishment of a constitutional monarchy would be best suited to the legitimate aspiration of the Annamid people, so the Vietnamese people. It will allow France to render unto César the think that are Césars and render unto the emperors of Annam the three provinces, so the key, the Tonkin, Tonkin, Annam, Cochin, China, that constitute their kingdom, end of quote. <clears throat> Starting in 1935, Femme Contact set up a personal guard or internal security force devoted to Prince Kunde's return to Vietnam, and which was then, in the 1940s, devoted to defending the Holy See of Tenning against the communists. Many Kaodaists joined this pro Kunde movement in the hopes of obtaining honors within the court that was to form. Kaodaist dignitaries would, of course, be some of the trusted advisors of this utopian court at the head of a unified and independent Vietnam, with the mediums guiding the choice of prince through their spirit medium activity. Lacking guarantees and adequate material resources, the Japanese never truly had the will to re-establish Kung De on the, on the throne of Vietnam. They were more interested in maintaining French sovereignty in Indochina, as this allowed them to exploit exploit the country's natural resources and rubber plantation in particular through the smooth functioning of an experienced and efficient colonial administration. It was not until April 47 that Femme Contacts officially announced his support for another aristocratic Vietnamese figure, Bao Dai, emperor, almost one and a half years after the departure of the Japanese troops. However, after several years of exile, Bao Dai would return to become the head of Vietnam in 1949, not as emperor of a constitutional monarchy, but as an independent head of state associated with the French Union. The following chronological section will demonstrate that the notion and activities of the Cao Dai army had different meaning throughout the years, actually. In the 1940s, the dignitaries of Tainin brandish their flag alongside the Axis powers, Hitler, Germany, Mussolini, Italy, and Imperial Japan. And the Axis victory was to restore the dynasty of Kung De and promulgate Kaodaism as the religion of the monarchist state. 
faced with this Kaodai propaganda, which intensified with the Axis victories in the East and the West, the French authorities were forced to intervene. Starting on 26 August 1940, the Holy See of Tainin and several temples, about 15, were closed, and prominent Kaodaist religious figures and lay people persecuted and contribution confiscated by French. In June 1941, the French Sûreté entered the sanctuary of Tainin and arrested Femme Contac, accusing him of having announced the end of the colonial regime in his oracles. On 20 August 1941, Femme Contact was sent to the Nosilava prison in Madagascar with five other dignitaries. On 20 September, 27 September 1941, the French army occupied the central temple of Tainin and set up barracks with 600 men in, near the Holy See. Simultaneously, the Japanese were quick to grant the interim Kaodaist leader in Tainin, the Bishop Chen Kuangvin, the status of civil attaché, thereby providing him with diplomatic immunity. In exchange, Chen Kuangvin raised a veritable Kaodaist army, which was pro-Japanese and composed of 3,240 devotees who trained, worked, and slept in Japanese shipyard set up in Saigon, Cholon, out of the reach of the French security forces. On the 9 March 1945, Chekwan Vin's troops notably took part in the famous coup led by Japan, in which France would temporarily lose its sovereignty in Indochina. On 9 <coughs> October 40. 45, Chen Quang Vin was intercepted by the Viet Minh, the communist Viet Minh police, and locked up in a prison. No longer able to count on the Japanese, Chen Quang Vin had basically come to accept the idea of a consensus with the Viet Minh to establish a common front against France that time. The Viet Minh authorized Cao Dai to form two independent Kaodaist military companies. And you can see in uh, the table here. It was not only until 7 May 46 that the commissioner of the Republic of Inconchan China, Jean Sedil, decided on a political collaboration with the Tenin denomination, envisioning, planning the return of Femme Contact, which is still in Madagascar. Senior French officials mainly hoped to be able to make up, to make use, sorry, of Kaodaism as an instrument of public order, a network of informers, and eventually an electoral base for the independence of Conchen China. In the span of two days only, 7 and 8 May 46, Jean Sedil ordered Femme Contact to be repatriated to Indochina and arrested Chen Kuangvin with whom he was negotiating the surrender of the Kaodaist troop. The resulting agreement, the so-called Ménage Chen Kuangvin Agreement of 9 June 46, established an essentially political collaboration with the Kaodaists of Tainin, officially recognizing the autonomous Republic of Conchan China and declaring their support for it and for the French. <clears throat> On his return from exile in August 46, Femme Contact ratified the agreement made by his deputy and publicly urged his fellow devotees to collaborate with France. As for relations with the Viet Minh, well, they would launch in September 46 a terrible campaign of repression against the Kaodaists who betrayed them, following the collapse of negotiation with the head of mediums. Abduction and assassination would follow. The dignitaries of the Holy See, hoping to increase the Kaodai sphere of influence and to protect their followers against the violent abuse of the Viet Minh, 
ask officially to be rearmed by, by France. In fact, the idea of trying out the Kaudaist experiment and the military support of Kaudai army slowly emerged in the mind of the French, though not without some apprehension, as evidenced by this report from the summer of 1947. Kaudaism is a dangerous opponent that constitutes a, a priori a state within a state. This is a risk that will be futile to hide, but one that has not to be taken, not has to be, that has to be taken. Our situation is not so bright that we can disregard the aid of anti-Vietnamese elements that have already proven themselves." End of quote. The femme contact Frey, so the name of Lieutenant Colonel Frey, the head of the French uh, liaison mission, so the, this femme contact Frey agreement in January 47 kick off a long military alliance between the Holy See and the, and the French. Armed, equipped, and paid by the French authority, the Kaudaist armed force, so the force armée Kaudaist, were integrated into the French army as unit of partisans. The mission of the Kaudaist outpost was to defend, actually, the major trunk lines of the communication <clears throat> while the flying squads led a guerrilla counter-offensive against the Viet Minh. <clears throat> the Holy See took advantage of this greater freedom of action to restore the old Royal Guard, which was now the Holy See and Holy Guard, intended to protect Femme Contact himself. The Holy See also centralized other types of military police units. And I think it's interesting. For instance, the information service, which was charged with various tasks, espionage, counter-espionage, infiltration, arresting Viet Minh agents, as well as deserters, etc. They were taking care of parachutes unit, parachutist unit, the gendarmerie, and the secret police, were in charge of gathering information on the Viet Minh in the Tenin province. As a conclusion, let's notice that near the end of the Viet Minh wars against the French, so 1954, the Kaudai soldiers had lost nearly all motivation to fight against the Viet Minh, and desertion were on the rise. The Kaudaist army thus held most of the 215 French outposts in Tainin, with the Holy See as its esquatter. It was estimated to comprise some, at the maximum, 65,000 men in 1954, which suddenly fell to 15,000 men when the French surrendered the same year. Faced with this crisis, the head of Medium himself, in 19 53, took command of the Kaudai's troop. Femme Contact tone changed after the departure of the French, the partition of Vietnam in two, and the coming into power of the Catholic Nodinziem in the south. Femme Contact actually has to react facing the Nodinziem policy. Nodinziem began purging the pro-French partisan from the army destroying the military power of Kaudaism in the Mekong Delta. Femme Contact exiled to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, after No Dinziem troop had occupied again the Holy See of Tainin. Between 56 and 58, some 3,400 Kaudaists were arrested and many died in prison. According to Jane Werner, a historian, 5,000 to 6,000 Kaudai soldiers went into hiding at this moment. From Phnom Penh, Femme Contacts presented himself as an advocate for human rights, peace, unity, and neutrality for Vietnam, and for the real path of peace, to borrow the title of his book. As King Ngo Dinh Diem, Ho Chi Minh, the President of the French Republic, the Secretary General of the United Nations, and several heads of states to work I quote, 
for peace, happiness, and democratic freedom for the benefit of the Vietnamese people, end of quote. I think here, I didn't propose, I didn't do it on purpose at the first, but it's a good transition, I think, to the tomorrow morning session on religions as peacemakers. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Jeremy. I've forgotten, forgotten to tell the public about your uh, affiliation. You're a professor at uh, Sciences Po Lyon, and you are a member of the Lyon Institute of uh, East Asian Studies. Yes. So thank you very much for, the, for this very comprehensive study on uh, Kaodaism.